off that shortwave radio. Now, would you kindly find a crowbar or something? Bloody splicer, seal Johnny in before they... Goddamn splicers. Hello and welcome back to the Bioshock Let's Play Blind with Neo Rambler. Hello guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are well. Now, a few changes have been made since the first video. Um, I've got used to the controls, which is good, so I kind of know what most of the button commands are. The only change I did make was the crouch button. I just changed it to the control key just because, well, half life really. It's just a habit, so I thought, well, why change it if I can change it to control? Then I shall do. So I'd like to say thank you very much to Kitty and Scrub for saying that I really should do that. You're right, I have done that, and I'm sure the rest of you would probably have said the same thing as well. But I have. So again, I'm not 100% familiar with them, but I'm a bit more than I am. So I'm not going to complain about the controls being rubbish or anything, because that was an irrational complaint. So I do apologise about that. It was just because I jumped into it and didn't really think to check the controls or anything. Because of course, they're going to be a little bit different compared to uh, Half-Life. So there's that. Um, I've changed the sound options as well. Oops, and I've got drunk as well. Yay, drunk! Um, I've changed the sound options so the sound is pretty much now all at 10, the value. Um, I can still adjust the sound when I'm editing, but I'm just hoping that we can pick up some background sound a bit better in terms of music and what people are saying in the background. The only reason why is because uh, some of you have commented that I missed when Atlas was talking to me in the elevator. I'm not sure which elevator. If you listen very carefully to the static noise of the radio, you can hear somebody saying, would you kindly save them? Um, I didn't hear it, and I'm going to be honest, I've replayed the bit that we've done to this point, so I've done this bit again uh, because I wanted to try and catch it, but I couldn't catch it. So I'll take your word for it that it was there in the static, but you know, I didn't, I didn't see it, or I didn't hear it at the very least. Uh, and that's even with... Um, that's even with the, uh, you know, the sounds changed and what have you. But there you go. Never mind. It's just me, I guess. But that's that. So that's that covered. Um, Frederick mentioned that there was a Half-Life Opposing Force reference, which there is. It's staring us right in the face. As well as Atlas saying, uh, can you find a crowbar? And instead we found a wrench. Coincidentally, ooh, come bite the apple in Eve's garden. Yes, ma'am. If I find that apple, I will surely bite it as long as you're holding it. Not a problem. I mean, um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. The opposing force reference. So, yeah, kind of cool. Thanks for pointing out, Frederick. Awesome. Um, and Chop Max said that towards the end of the video, there were some eyes and events that I missed. I don't know where the vent is, but I didn't see them. But if they are there, then... Okay, there are eyes and events. Could possibly belong to the Michael Jackson girl, maybe? Who knows? Don't know. But either way, I shall keep a closer eye on vents. Ha ha ha. Get it? Eye and vents. There were eyes and events. No, rubbish joke, sorry. But anyway, thank you very much for that chop, Max. Um, and that's about it, really. So, yep, everything's up to date. So, without further ado, let us continue onwards through this very creepy, disturbing place. And the music pretty much just fitted right in there. So, that's good. Right, uh, let's see. Where were we last time? Oh, yeah, we've been in there, haven't we? And we got jump scared a hell of a lot, which was... Uh, not fun, but at the same time, it was action-packed and suspenseful, so we'll go with that. Um, I have to say, again, I like the lighting, and I do like the graphics as well. They're very, very good. Even though the game's a few years old now, they still stand up. They still stand up really, really well. Even though I've got it running in DirectX 9. Apparently, if you run it in DirectX 10, there's some more texture changes or texture mapping that's improved or something. But yeah, it's still cool. Still cool. Right, I'm just launching around the bottom here. I don't need to be down here, do I? Because we need to go back through the bathroom, don't we? And of course, we've got to... <laughs> Okay. Did you just hit me from there? Rubbish. Rubbish did you hit me? Uh oh. Rubbish did you hit me? Smack it. Smack it. Yes. Yes, glorious violence. I mean, um, no, terrible, glorious violence. How it's not glorious at all. What am I talking about? <sighs> sorry, love. So sorry. Didn't mean to beat you up. Sorry, I've got to stop calling ladies love, haven't I? I apologise. That's, that's like a pet name that they get very upset about. I, I just do it out of force of habit. I used to work in a supermarket and I used to use it to address. Um... Oh, ran out of first aid kits. Oh, no, we're full of first aid kits. Oh, right, my apologies. Right, we can only keep up to nine first aid kits on this. Oh, that's fair enough. That's a decent number. Fair enough. She was not up there before, by the way. She just came out of nowhere, so... 
Yes. Sorry. Um, yes, no, uh, I, I should... No, sorry, if I, if I call ladies love and it annoys you, so any ladies watching this, if you're annoyed by me calling you love, please let me know, because it's... It, like I said, I used to work in a supermarket, and I call blokes, or men, or whatever, sir, you know, if I'm being polite or respectful, but I hate calling ladies miss. It just... I don't know, I only ever call that to my teacher, it just seems a bit out of the, out of the place. So I used to say love instead, but if you prefer miss or lady or whatever, just let me know and I will happily change my uh, dress. Now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? Uh, I didn't do that. I didn't do that, I didn't lower my weapon. I didn't lower my weapon! I can't get my weapon back! Game? Oh yeah, this is going to go well, isn't it? Yeah, we've got to make it across there. <laughs> open, sort of, open plan theatre room. Yep, I know where this is going. Oh, look, a sp My God, Jackson girl. Oh, crumbs. Uh-oh. You think that's a child down there? No, it's my God, Jackson oh, child. child. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters, they carry Adam, the genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants it, everybody needs it. Okay, you keep on stabbing his head with that needle thing, Michael Jackson girl. I take it that's some sort of extraction tool in order to get Adam, whatever that is, but surely he'd have run out by now, love. Oh, I've said it again. Damn oh, that's actually a Michael Jackson girl. That doesn't count. Or does it? Ooh, I don't know. Well, very luckily... We didn't fall down. That's a good thing. Okay, can I have my weapon back now, please? Why can't I have my weapon back? Give me my weapon back! Why have I, why have I got no access to weapon? I don't like that. Give me my weapon back, I'm going to need it. Especially if I'm going downstairs. Am I going downstairs? I'm going downstairs. Oh, well, this, this is not good. I said this is not good! Why can't I save? Why, game? Why are you restricting me from saving? Oh, by the way, I found out what the quick, sa uh, quick save key is. It's the uh, F8 key. Oh, God. Have I got to go and say hello to her? I don't want to say hello to the Michael Jackson girl. Oh, Jesus. Oh, all right. Oh, this, is, this can only... Uh... Um... A lock. Um... Oh god! Uh, that's bad. It, oh! Hello! Mr. Bubbles has come to play! Oh! Uh oh. That's the big daddy. She got it, Adam. He keeps her safe. Missed a bit. <laughs> right, okay, well, that was awesome, <laughs> but that girl would not have survived a blow to her head like that. Seriously, she'd have probably died or got knocked out. Maybe she's turned into some sort of super freaky Michael Jackson girl. Yes, that's it, because she's a Michael Jackson girl. I even forgot my own rule of thumb there. And now we've also got some music playing in the background, that's fine, and also we've got our weapon back. Good! I was just about to be a bit Press escape to save your game. Now I shall press F8. Haha! -ha! Why couldn't you tell me about quick save before the game? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just to save it properly, I guess. Fair enough. Ooh! The lady is there. Come bite the apple. I shall, my dear. I shall. Oh, is dear alright? Or is that too patronising as well? Ladies, let me know. Let me know. Dear, love, they too patronising? Are they too... I don't know what the correct word is for it. Uh, is it condescending? Discriminative? Oh, I don't know. Just basically, if you don't like it, just let me know. Ooh, art. Yep, that's some art, alright. It's not as nice as the art in Portal 2, though. 
and there's no classical music to accompany it. There is some classical music being played though, which is kind of nice, but uh, uh, hang on, can we search this dude? We can! Oh, I just missed him then. That would have been terrible. I'd have missed out on four bucks and several bullets, which we do need by the way, because these bullets I take it are quite scarce, so I'm going to stick with the wrench for now, just to be on the safe side. Right, oh, corpse down there. Just make sure he's a corpse. Good. Not coming back as a zombie. That's the last thing I want to be dealing with is zombies. Oh, a cream filled cake! A Twinkie bar! That's what you are. You're just not allowed to call it that for trademark copyright reasons. I'm probably not allowed to call it that either, but sod it. Right, well, we can't come bite the apple that way because it's broken, even though the o and the open sign's upside down, so Satan's probably got something to do with that. So we'll leave that alone. Oh, there's a Vita chamber. Yeah, see, I'm practicing. Oh, hello! Wow, these splices do recover from the wrench quite a bit, as in like they recover from it really quickly. I should probably be using my gun actually, thinking about it. Might be a good idea. Where is my gun? Ah, there it is. Right, okay, I'm going to save it, because it's probably a good idea that I do. Excellent. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know where my ammo count is though, but never mind. Right, anyway, before we go on. Affordable endings, funeral home. Haven't you already paid enough? Yeah, so why have I got to pay more for my funeral then? Doesn't matter how cheap you present it, I'm still paying more. Jasmine, oh hello. Andrew Ryan's favourite gal, Jasmine Jolene, limited time engagement. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Uh, oh, a trash can. Oh, there's nothing in the trash can, not even trash. What's that say? The Fantain Fathas Sticks Acuvox, personal voice recorder. Recording the thoughts and lives of rapture citizens for five years and catch. Shh, I'm reading! Shh! Oh, Excuse me, guys. Girls, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a second. Right, anyway, as I was saying. Recording the thoughts and lives of rapture citizens for five years and counting. Fontaine Futuristics. Ah, that's what that said. Uh, for the city of the future. So. Portable tape recordings to capture people's thoughts and ideas instead of writing it in a journal or I don't know, just using any old tape recorder is a advancement in technology, is it? That is 1960, I guess. Somebody's still alive. Ah! Oh, he's having a shower. Oh, I think two of them are. Oh, better be quiet then. Maybe we can zap them, because that's one thing I didn't do, was zap them in the water. That looks like a prime to Come bite the apple, Eve's got- I will, I will, I promise, I promise, I will. Just give me a chance. Pick your plasmid and evolve. The wondrous world of rapture. I have to admit, I love the art style of the posters. They really do match the 1940s, 50s, maybe even 30s as well. I really do like that artwork. That must have taken ages to draw. Well, I say ages, it would have taken some time. Just look at the attention to detail, that's fantastic. It really is. Right, before we encounter them, I'm going to save the game. Watch your mouth, son! Okay, I've already sworn a couple of times in the last Opposing Force video I did, and I forgot to beep it out. Doesn't give you the right to do it. How was that? Yes, you enjoy that electricity. It's free and on me. Which is more than can be said for any electricity company these days. Any electricity company would not offer you free electricity. What the hell am I talking about? Oh, another wrench! Which I can't pick up. Oh, that's a shame. <gasps> it's him! Mr. Bubbles! Is he dead? $33? Eve Hypo? Sweet! 54 bucks! Wow, that's, that's richer than I am in real life. Damn, that's good. Why is he dead? How did he die? Is he dead? I don't know. I know it says corpse, but I don't trust it. Alright. Don't like this. Open plan room again. It can only lead to ambush. Or not. Oh, to medical to Neptune. Ah, looks like the medical station is blocked for now. Okay, maybe we can go there later, maybe? Who knows? Oh, I've changed the sensitivity of the mouse a little bit as well. Um, I've just dropped it by one notch, so we'll see how it goes. It's a little less sensitive and a bit easier to handle, but it's still quite sensitive. But, yeah, we'll go with it. Right, okay. Gents, you say? 
There's obviously going to be some dudes in here. Or maybe even some ladies. Maybe. As long as they're not in cubicles. Uh, it doesn't seem to... Oops, somebody's had their period. Doesn't look like they are in here. But that doesn't mean they can't just suddenly jump around the corner and kill me. Because they do tend to do that. No, we good? We good? Sorry, I'm being very slow and cautious now because this game likes to throw a load of curveballs at you, which I think is really cool. But, you know. Mind you, there's also goodies in toilets as well. Oh, we can flush the toilet. Oh, that's kind of neat. I didn't know you could do that. We better flush this one then. It needs a bit of a clean. Oh, that's the best I can do. Use the sink. Cool. I like the little interactions you've got. That's kind of neat. I'm not going to flush every toilet, but just looking around for goodies really. But it doesn't seem to be any. Oh no! <gasps> I nearly missed one! God, I nearly missed the first aid kit. Cool, blimey, that would have been bad. Is there any more on the floor around here? Yes, there was! Bandages! Oh, right, so they're instant health then. Oh, okay, cool beans, cool beans. See, I missed the goodies, how did I miss those? I think what it is, is it's the viewpoint of this game. It seems a little bit too zoomed in. Can I adjust that? No, I can't. Okay, well, never mind. Yeah, it, it's like the vision is quite up close. It doesn't, I don't, it doesn't feel quite so panoramic as uh, Half Life. But oh well, maybe that's just me. Nothing in there. Ooh, ooh. No, I'm not going to drink that because that's going to make me drunk. Usually, I say yes to drink, but I'm trying to be more responsible these days, so I won't. Right, enough stalling and stuff. I'm sorry. I am going to be taking this rather slow, it's only because I'm properly scared and nervous, and I hate being jumped out, as you know. But it looks like this game's going to be. Oh. Security alert in pause. Oh, bombs. <laughs> ah! Uh oh. Oh, hello! <laughs> what you good? Oh, Christ! Uh oh. Any more? Uh oh. Come on in, come on in, in you come, into the water, go on both of you! <laughs> what do you mean? But I'm getting loot! Loot! Loot, Atlas, loot! You're not the one who's doing any looting, it's me! And you didn't ask me politely, you did say would you kindly. Oh, well, at least then we are going to medical then. Oh god, I'm so nervous! Oh! Alright, well if that isn't creepy, I don't know what is. It also reminds me of Fallout as well. Oh, Christ! You're trapped! Uh -oh. I'm to override the exit from here! Please don't hurt me! Oh! So tell me, friend. Which one of the bitches said to you? Watch your KGB mouth! Wolf with the CIA jackal. Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Anne Ryan isn't a giddy socialite who can be slapped around uh -oh. by government muscle. And with that, farewell. Or does the bottle, I'm not from the CIA or the KGB, otherwise I'd be more of a bad dude. Uh oh. Lovely. Um, elevator open would be nice. Elevator open. I'm going! I'm going! I'm going! I'm out! Close the door! Close it! Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> I was meant to close it, my bad. I thought it was a lift. <laughs> My bad. Right, okay, so Ryan is on to us now. Well, I'm not surprised. I am surprised he's still alive, though. Or am I? I don't know, if he was the head or self-proclaimed leader of the city, then maybe I suppose he'd shelter himself from more madness. Ooh. With Adam, there's no reason not to be beautiful. Dr. Steinman's cosmetic enhancement. Fair's fair, I guess. Although, you don't need cosmetic enhancement, really. It's, I mean, if you feel unsure about yourself, then fair enough, but... Now you've met Andrew Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. Lovely. Now find your way to emergency access. You're not going to elaborate more on Andrew Ryan and who he is as a person or anything like that? I've got a map? Oh. Oh, good lord. 
use emergency access route. There is an emergency access route near the entrance to the medical pavilion. Use this emergency bathosphere to reach Neptune's bounty. Alright, well where's that? Oh right, zoom in, zoom out. Oh what the he Oh wait, is this the whole map is it? I'm going to assume that this is the whole map, so okay fine. Have I got my compass still? I have no compass! That's... That's not good. Right, I'm going to change the wrench now. I'm going to save the game. And I think we've got some beatings of splicers to do. I don't know what's happened to my Irish accent. I don't seem to have it anymore. I seem to have gone rest country. Oh. What the? Hack security bots are friendly and will attack your enemies. Um, okay. Hidden. What's that? What is this? Well, I just actually stumbled across something before I'm sp Oh! Oh, it's a puzzle! Oh my god! Oh, right. I don't think- Oh, I'm gonna completely balls this up, aren't I? Right, okay, here we go. So, reveal tiles. Find pipe segments by revealing hidden tiles. Pick up pipe segments and swap them with other pipes to create a connected line. Guide the flow of metallic liquid to the exit pipe. This new circuit will rewire the machine for desired effects. Uh, uh, um, okay. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, I see. Oh, it's going really slow, this one. Oh, I've got to reveal it, haven't I? Alright, okay, I'll get you. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we move. no, we don't need that one. We do need that one. Right, okay, so if I move that one there, right, okay, and then move that there, and then move that there? No. I should move that. Oh, no, I have to press the thing, don't I? My bad. Right, how's that worked now? Hooray! Ah, oh, right, I understand now. Oh, okay, fair enough. So it's like a little mini puzzle game, you just got to guide the liquid from A to B. Right, okay, fair enough. That's not too bad. And I'm glad that one was nice and slow, because it, it was just getting me the hang of the game. The only thing I've got to remember is, is I must keep pressing the question marks. Right, right, okay then. That's fine. Uh, hack security bots are friendly. I'm going to attack your enemies. That's good to know. Ace base, bomb the base. Right, well, off you go then, old chum. You sound like a really perverted fly. Take your word for it, though. You're good. Right, we'll save the game. I don't know how long this video is going on for. I might... I don't know how long to make these, really, because I'm going to be progressing quite slowly throughout it, only because I'm pretty... Uh... Ooh, a tape recorder. And a handbag. But nothing in it! Ugh. Ooh, corpse. Ooh, two dollars. And a first aid kit, which we... can use, I guess. Excellent. Ooh, revolver bullets. How many? Six! Lovely. Hypo, good. Money, good. Money, money. Register. Nothing in there. Fair enough. Guess it was on the floor. Right, now I've noticed that there's a vending machine over here, and it did say something. Oh, you can hack the vending machine! Oh, what's this? M, yes, please tell me. Right, uh, oh, money as well, hang on. Money is used primarily to purchase items of vending machines, but it can also be used to automatically succeed at hacking. Get health from health stations and turn off security alarms at security shutdown panels. There may be other uses for money as well. Wait, so how does money be used to help with hacking and security alarms? Do we just bribe the security alarm or bribe the hacking system by going, throw out some money? Because, you know, an inanimate object that you have to mess around with in order to get something out of it, otherwise you mess it up, really wants to use money as a bribe. Um, I guess it's like a shortcut, maybe. It's like a, a cost thing in the game. It's like a sort of help system, you know. Oh, I don't know. A vending machine offers a variety of items for sale, often including ammunition, first aid kits and EVE hypos. Each machine will offer a different selection of items. Most vending machines have items at the bottom that will only become available if you successfully hack the machine. A successful hack will also reduce the prices of all available goods. Uh, and then the Vita Chamber. So if you are killed by the hostile... Yeah, we've done that, haven't we? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Right, I'll save it then. And then we'll try and hack this machine. I'm going to imagine that hacking this machine is going to be a bit tougher Quiet you, I'll get to you in a minute. I imagine this is gonna be a bit Oh darling, 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 you shouldn't have. Okay. Um Anyway, let's let's hack this. Oh right, is this the level of difficulty, this meter here? Oh and buy out ten dollars. Ah, alright, fair enough, then I think I get it. 
Right, so that's coming out of there. So, oh, it's coming up pretty quick. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, not bad. So we swap that with that. Where's it got to go? Oh, at the top. Right, okay. Okay. Reveal that. Move that with that. Okay. And then reveal that. Let's get this. is going to be quite dull. I do apologise. <laughs> Just gotta make sure that I've got this right. Uh, okay, that can work. Nope, we need. Which one do we need? We need that one. No, we don't need that one. Nope. Um, um, uh, panic, panic, panic. Is it that one? No, panic. No. Oh, ha! That's the one. And then we need a side pipe. Side pipe! Oh, no, no, no! No, no! Yes! Has that worked? Hooray! Brilliant! God, that was. Panicky. God, I've got to get used to that. That's going to take me a while to get used to. Fair enough. Right, okay, so let's have a look at the uh, items then. And I'll save it again because I don't really want to lose the uh, hack on that one. Right, here we go. Uh, purchase items. Welcome to the Circus of Values! That was on Bioshock Infinite, wasn't it? If I remember correctly. <laughs> right, so we've got four Eve Hypos, uh, vodka, pistol rounds. Ah, we've got enough pistol rounds. Electric buck! Shotgun! <gasps> it better be a good shotgun, because if it's not, I'm going to be very upset. Armor piercing pistol rounds. And then double buck. Oh, they must... oh I've got secondary ammo in this game then. Well, maybe. Well, I won't buy anything for now. I want to conserve my money, so fair enough. Wait a minute, Circus of Values, isn't that in The Simpsons? Does Millhouse refer to the Circus of Values from time to time? I think he does. One of the earlier episodes of the earlier seasons. First day. Get Will you stop flying like a fly? That's really distracting. God. God. Let me just smack you out of the air. No, I better use you. Um, right, emergency access. Ah, right, it's over there. But, oh right, oh I see, there must be another, right, okay, I got you, we've got to go, we have to get, I've been putting it off, we've got to go this way, haven't we? Okie dokie, just better get my uh, electrostat out, because I think I'm going to need it. Oh, this is the emergency access. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh! He went, oh, no, he lost, okay. Uh, it's our turn now. Zap him! Zap him! Zap him! Are you okay, old chum? I think he's okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down, calm down. It's alright, you're okay, you're safe, you're safe. It's alright. I'm not saying I won't let anything happen to you, but you're safe. Right, okay, so two Neptune, that's where we've got to go, isn't it? Neptune, right, okay, so we've got to have to go upstairs and stuff. Right, what is the security thing then? Ooh! Ooh! Tape! Oh, wait, hang on, there's a table recorder we haven't listened to yet. Dr. Steinman said he'd release me today. Ryan didn't come to see me since the New Year's attack, not once. But Dr. Steinman was very attentive. He told me that once the scar tissue was gone, he was going to fix me right up, make me prettier than any girl I've ever seen. You're pretty, don't be silly. He's sweet, all right. And so interested in my case. Oh. Might be more interested than you give him credit for. Ryan and Adam. Adam and Ryan. All those years of study and... Was I ever truly a surgeon before I met them? How we plinked away with our scalpels and toy morality. Yes, we could lop a boil here and shave down a beak there, but... Ew. Could we really change anything? No, but Adam gives us the means to do it. And Ryan frees us from the phony ethics that held us back. Oh, you're an evil surgeon. You change your sex, change your race. Can't we do it's that today? To change. Nobody else's. But can't we do that today? Haven't we kind of established that already? I mean, I know this game's set in the 1960s, but, or at least the late 50s, early 60s, but about 1960 really, isn't it? Oh, right. Emergency access. Oh, yeah, because this is going to go well, isn't it? Okay. Let's do it. Oh, 
Oh, goody. All the use the emergency access, you'll be needing Dr. Steinman's key. He's the one that runs this place. But I don't expect him to hand it to you out of the milk of human kindness. Steinman ain't that kind. And frankly, I'm not even sure he's still human. Well, that's just good to know. Oh my god, there's a Tommy gun. Oh, yes. Also, it's in a very open place. Yes, I can see your hand! Uh, turret, are you gonna do something? Wow, the AI is a little bit broken in this game, isn't it? Yes. Okay. You clean it up. No, I'm not gonna clean it up. My <laughs> god, turrets! Very pretty nurse, by the way. For a splicer nurse, you're quite nice. Pity I had to beat you up with a wrench, though. Yeah, I'm a good man. Ah, oh, this is where- oh, this is where we were! Oh, okay. Sweet! Excellent! Don't know if we've got many bullets for it, but sweet! Oh, yeah. Now I'm a gangster. Let me guess. Yep, there be splicers! That's alright, I got me a- I've got me a gun! Let's do this! You go! <laughs> oh, I'm Scarface! Yeah! Say hello to my little friend! Say hello to my... Oh, oh, oh no! No! Don't say hello to my little friend in that way! He's very sensitive! Ah! Yeah, I got big cojones! Have you got big cojones? Oh, man, I'm a... Oh no! What am I doing? Trick, chase weapon! Ah, I ran out of bullets! No one's gonna take Tommy Montana! Tommy Montana, Tony Montana, I think what I'm talking about. Oh god, it's help, 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 I've never helped. Oh god, what am I doing? You wanna shoot with me? You wanna mess with me? I'm messing with the best! God, I need to rewatch Scarface. I totally messed up all these quotes there. But we survived! And we gained health from chips. This is good, but not, it's not good as I need to improve my combat. Plus I had a Tommy gun, I went a bit insane there. I mean, yeah, you know, you do. When you when you first get hold of a Tommy gun in any game, you generally go, oh yes. Then you realise that you've got to be conservative and strategic about it, and then you're like, oh no, and then, oh, I found my bullet counter on the bottom left. Excellent, lovely, marvellous. What is in here? Oh, another corpse. Are you dead? Just making sure. Money, lovely. Oh, got quite a few bit of money there. That's good. So we've got $102 at the moment. I'm going to try and keep as much money as possible because I think we can get by with the wrench and the electrocution power for the most part. At least until a certain point, anyway. I'm hazarding a guess. Uh oh. Well, I think we're going into a goose vision. Beaten by a nose, Steinman offers a comprehensive rhinoplasty service. As long as you're not called Tom, we're all good. Steinman's. We care for you. You promised me pretty, Steinman. You promised me pretty. Oh, you're Diane. You're Diane. Oh. Steinman's simple surgery for a complex world. I love these posters. Need a boost? Try a new and improved prime health unit. Safe, speedy, affordable. You'll feel as good as new. Alright, sound, I'll keep an eye out for those. I guess they might actually be quite useful. Surgery, you say? Do you know what? We'll leave this for next time. Yeah! Apologies that I haven't really progressed as fast as I should have done. I'm just taking in all the detail and I love all the artwork. What I'll do is I'll speed by the posters in the future because I'm sure they'll start repeating themselves. And I'll get used to the combat so I'll be a little bit more strategic and what have you. Because um, eventually, you know, I'm going to run out of materials to look around with and then I'll have to focus on the game itself. But so far, again, really good. I'm really enjoying it. I love the city. I love bam, the city in terms of what we've seen so far. It looks amazing. I love the atmosphere. It's creepy. It's disturbing. It's full of background stuff. But the plot at the moment, well, it's just survive, really. I mean, OK, we've got Atlas telling us things, but the ultimate aim is to really survive, I guess. And I like Ryan, I like Ryan as a character, Andrew Ryan. He seems pretty bad evil <laughs> I was going to say something else but I can't um, but yeah no honestly really good so far can't wait to see more so I would like to say thank you very much for watching this if you have done again thoughts feelings comments please leave them I'm sure I can improve bits and bobs here and there take it easy have a good one and would you kindly meet me in the next video yeah see what I did there <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anyway have a good one I'll see you around